The Stormers head to Dunedin looking for redemption this Friday when they take on 2015 champions the Highlanders to kick off round 10. A disastrous first half last week meant the Stormers never got going against the Crusaders, suffering their biggest ever defeat to the seven-time champions in what must have felt like a bucket of cold water for Robbie Flex squad. The reason being that prior to their trip to New Zealand the Stormers had looked in fine shape at the start of 2017, winning all their matches aside from a derby at Newlands against the Lions the week before making the trip across the Indian Ocean. Once the space out wide had been recognized by the Crusaders last weekend, leading to George Bridges' hat trick, the contest was all but over. However the Stormers look in better shape a week on thanks to the return of Captain C. Yakalisi to the back row and S.P. Marias at fullback. As for the hosts, injuries to key players continue to put the brakes on their season fully getting underway, making their return of five wins from eight matches seem more impressive. Lima Sopaga remains sidelined and this week is joined by influential back row forwards Elliot Dixon and Luke Whitelock, which feels like a major setback even with Gareth Evans and Dylan Hunt both being extremely capable replacements. When the top attacker from round 9 of Super Rugby is being left on the bench in Matt Faddies, then the Highlanders must have some firepower, with Wazek Nayolo working his way back to full fitness. Winning this week holds extra value as well ahead of the Highlanders embarking on their brief overseas tour, when they take on the Cheetahs and Force. Truthfully we are yet to see the best of the Highlanders this year despite some noteworthy tries and a respectable number of wins. But if they want to make up ground on the rest of the New Zealand Conference, given there is currently a 10-point gap between themselves in fourth and the Chiefs in third, then this fixture is a must-win. The last time the teams met, in an impressive performance the Highlanders ran in five tries to put away the Stormers in Dunedin, including a double for Wazek Nayolo in his breakthrough season back in 2015. Aaron Smith, Patrick Osborne, and Dan Pryor also crossed for the hosts, with a Wanda Jong double and try from Michael Rhodes coming in reply for the Stormers who failed to secure a bonus point in a 39-21 loss. Team News, Siosuya Helena Konica, Tom Franklin, and Gareth Evans return to the Highlanders starting 15. Dylan Hunt retains his starting spot after being called in at the last moment last Saturday to cover an injured Elliot Dixon. Dixon remains unavailable this week and is joined by number 8 Luke Whitelock. Whitelock has been displaying some concussion-type symptoms since the Sunwolves match and will be rested until he is cleared. Joe Wheeler is joined by Jackson Hemapo on the bench giving the Highlanders plenty of size to match the always physical South Africans. Rob Thompson returns to the midfield in place of an injured Richard Bookman and Patrick Osborne will return on the left wing to play his 50th Super Rugby game for the Highlanders. There is plenty of firepower to come off the bench with exciting Otago backs Fletcher Smith and Matt Faddies. Evan Itzabeth will run out for his 50th Super Rugby game for the Stormers and has been named Stormers vice-captain for the clash in Dunedin with regular skipper C. Yakalisi returning after being rested last week. Kalisi will start at open side flank with Nizam Kar shifting to number 8 and Peter Steph Dutoy continuing on the blind side. Side, whilst C. Cumbuzo Nachi and Kobus Van Dyck will provide loose forward cover. There are a number of changes to the tight five, with Jan de Klerk getting a chance to partner Itzabeth in the second row and props Oli Kebel and Franz Malerb starting with J.C. Jans Van Rensburg and Wilco Lu on the replacements bench. In the backline scrum half Jane Overmake returns to the starting lineup to partner fly half Robert Dupreeze, with Dewald Duvenage on the replacements bench. The shoulder injury to midfielder Dan Duplessis sees Dan Creel start at inside center, with the experienced former Highlander Sean Tree by set to provis an impact in the second half. Fullback SP Mary returns from a groin niggle which kept him out of action last week, which means that Dylan Lades moves back to the left wing with Bjorn Basson amongst the replacements. Form, the Highlanders have won their last four games, the last time they won more in succession was a stretch of five wins from March to April last season. The Stormers have lost their last six games in New Zealand, their longest losing streak there, including a 33-point defeat to the Crusaders in the last round which was their second heaviest loss in New Zealand in the competition's history. The Stormers have demanded their opposition make 120. 25 tackles per game this season, forcing a bigger defensive effort of their opponent TS than any other team in the competition. The Highlanders have been successful with 89% of their goal kicks this season, the best accuracy of any team in the competition and 15 percentage points more accurate than the Stormers, 74%. Prediction, a tighter contest than last week is expected and the Stormers pack can have a major role to play in the outcome, but this might be the week the Highlanders truly get off the ground. Highlanders by 6. Previous results, 2015. Highlanders won 39 to 21 in Dunedin. 2014, Stormers won 29 to 28 in Cape Town. 2012, Stormers won 21 to 6 in Dunedin. 2011, Stormers won 18 to 6 in Cape Town. 2010, Stormers won 33 to 0 in Cape Town. 2009, Stormers won 18 to 11 in Dunedin. 2008, Stormers won 26 to 16 in Cape Town. 2007, Highlanders won 35 to 24 in Dunedin. The teams, Highlanders, 15 Ben Smith. Smith, 
C. 14 Wazek Nayalo, 13 Malachi Fikato, 12 Rob Thompson, 11 Patrick Osborne, 10 Marty Banks, 9 Aaron Smith, 8 Liam Squire, 7 Dylan Hunt, 6 Gareth Evans, 5 Tom Franklin, 4 Alex Ainley, 3 C. Osuya Helena Konica, 2 Liam Coldman, 1 Daniel Leonard Brown, replacements, 16 Greg Pleasant State, 17 Aki Siyoli, 18 Syed Tokolahi, 19 Joe Wheeler, 20 Jackson Hemapo, 21 Kane Hammington, 22 Fletcher Smith, 23 Matt Faddies, Stormers, 15 S.P. Marais, 14 Cheslin Colby, 13 E.U. Viljoen, 12 Dan Creel, 11 Dylan Lades, 10 Robert Dupreez, 9 Jane Overmake, 8 Nizam Carr, 7 Peter Steph Dutoit, 6 C. Yakalisi, C. January 5th De Klerk, 4 Evan Itzabith, 3 Franz Malherb, 2 Bong Imbanambi, 1 Oli Kebel, Replacements, 16 Ramon Samuels, 17 J.C. Jans Van Rensburg, 18 Wilco Lu, 19 Kobus Van Dyck, 20 C. Kumbuzo Nachi, 21 D. Wald Duvenage, 22 Sean Trebi, 23 Buren Basson, Date, Friday, April 28th Venue, Forsyth Bar Stadium, Kickoff, 1935 Local, 735 GMT, Referee, Glenn Jackson, New Zealand, Assistant Referees, Brendan Pickereel, New Zealand, Mike Fraser, New Zealand, TMO, Aaron Patterson, New Zealand. 16 Ramon Samuels, 17, 16 Ramon Sa 16 Ramon Samuels, 17 JC Jack, 16 Ramon Samuels, 17 JC.